Wow. I have not been on Pandora for a extremely long time. In fact, I don't even know the last time I touched it or even looked at it because I have Spotify now, Spotify Premium. But today I'm going to take a look at the Pandora app for Windows 10. It has changed since the last time I took a look at it in my old channel. Um, in fact, I'll show a clip in the beginning of this so you guys can see just how it looked in the beginning of the days of the Windows Store. Um, and then you can see how it is now. So without further ado. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. My name is Quay Kuhn. Welcome to Next Windows or Next Gen Windows. Uh, this app review for today is going to be Pandora, as you saw. And um, Pandora is a music app, music streaming app. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, this is like scariest review. I don't know how I did it in the past, just because everything is copyrighted on this entire thing. Uh, you can get flagged for everything on this. So I'm not going to play any music. Uh, I'm going to try to turn off the sound on the desktop, in fact, so it can't play anything. Uh, yep, it's actually muted already, so no desktop capture can happen. And yeah, so right here, right off the bat, you're going to hear a lot of noise in the background. I have people walking above me. But right, right here, right off the bat, you notice here there is a shuffle button. There is just all the things, the playlists that I guess that I use. I haven't used it in a long time, but there are all the playlists that I used to listen to, including you got to listen to the 90s, 2000s, and today's hits. Got to have that one. Um, there's probably even Taylor Swift on here. You can change it between recent and A, B, A through Z with numbers starting first. Um, and then you can go to recent, which I guess is the most recent radio thing that I've used. Listen, December 2018, which is wow. I'm surprised. Um, and then right here, you've got the usual menu symbol. One thing I've noticed that's really weird about this menu symbol is that the top and bottom bars are thicker than the middle one, which kind of doesn't make any sense, but I guess the designer thought something, but what they should do to change that is just make them even pick, pick a style and just stick with it. Um, uh, click on that and you get the pop out window of what things do. You have your stations, you have your settings. So if I go to my stations, these are actually my stations, so it won't do anything. And if I go to settings, you're going to see here, it's got birth date. It's got the password, which I don't even know. Um, it's got email notifications. It's got, um, you can set things that you'll get an email when someone messages you or about your stations. Uh, you can turn on explicit content. So if you are doing this for your kids, you can turn off explicit content. Uh, lock screen, you can set Pandora to work to play in the lock screen. I guess you can see your music. Yep, it display track name, artist name on your lock screen. So when you lock your computer, it'll show it. Uh, you sign out, help advertise on Pandora, which would be nice for me in photo. Uh, and yeah, and you got your account just like before. So if I go back and I go back to stations, you'll notice here you have create a station. So if I click on this, I can create a station. So let's say I'm listening to uh, the some of the hottest K-pop folks out there right now, BTS. I can click on that and it'll play a station from BTS. There you go. You got BTS playing. Why is it skipping? Oh, geez. You didn't hear that. I'm going to mute it. But you got BTS. Um, in fact, let me let me mute my speaker. There we go. And then if I keep skipping through, you can see here that I can just change things. Steve Aoki and J Hope and a bunch of people. So this shows BTS radio. With this down, drop down arrow, you can see similar artists and whatever this is undefined, I guess. Similar artists that they can play. RM meaning Rap Monster, which he's not. It's his name RM now. Um, and then you can thumb things up and thumb things down, which if you're familiar with Pandora, when you do that kind of thing, it modifies the station, uh, the radio station that you picked for the whatever you chose the song. It modifies that to be more adjusted uh, slightly to the song that you thumbed up so that it kind of gets the feel of what you like, which is really cool and really nice. My speakers are going insane right now. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's a pretty simple app. Um, back to the home screen, you can see here, if I right click, you can see pin to start. So if I click pin to start, you can see BTS radio has been pin to start. It'll ask me, yes, I do. And when I click this, you see, if I scroll down, where did it go? Right here, BTS radio. So let me actually pull this down here, scroll down and resize it. You can resize it small and you can resize it to be medium. 
and that's how it would look there yeah it's a pretty simple very simple application you got your current which you're playing you've got your play button and you've got all the things that you've all the radios that you've started playing um, on this application and it's it's pretty straightforward there's not much extra to it um i can't there's there's nothing about pandora premium on it um but it does have ads on it as usual until you have pandora premium uh but there's i doubt there's any i don't have pandora premium but i doubt there's any um true like pick your song as if you have premium that you can actually do on like ios and android but yeah uh it's a pretty short video but this is pandora for windows 10 you can get it on the microsoft store uh i'll have the link in the description as always and it's free sign up for an account you can listen to music stream music radio uh anywhere uh, whether you want it on windows 10 uh, ios android or whatever other platforms are out there you can have it on the web too so yeah this was pandora the windows 10 app review if you have any questions about this app or anything else that i want you want me to review leave a comment below or send me a message all the social info is in the description. As always, my name is Kwaku. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Take care.